Good afternoon, Pokesports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. My friends, today I am back and I'm sharing with you this team from Evan. Now, Evan, uh, you may remember from a couple of videos back, I'm not sure exactly which team I was playing. Somebody can correct me in the comments or, or enlighten me in the comments. Uh, but I played against this team that used a Luminian and Storm Drain actually just completely broke my brain. Uh, so <laughs> they were kind enough to then go on to the Discord, as you all can, the Rental Codes uh, game chat area, uh, and dropped a Poke Paste and a Rental Code using either this team or a team that has a Luminian. Uh, this team with a Luminian does have Storm Drain, and Storm Drain does soak up all water attacks and increases your special attack while doing so. Uh, does also have Chilling Water, Icy Wind, Encore, and Tailwind. So the kit that Luminian has is actually really, really interesting. So I, I wanted to try and use that. Uh, of course, you've got some super strong Pokemon. By the end of Regulation D, I think we should all know that Landorus, Fluttermane, Chen Pao, and Heatran, and Urshifu are all amazing Pokemon that should be used in, in most teams. Uh, Urshifu, this is Single Strike, uh, using Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Poison Jab, and U-Turn. Uh, with the Choice Scarf, so it should outspeed most things, it, specifically Fluttermane. That's what I'm looking to outspeed in in this video is is a Fluttermane. If I can if I can wicked blow a Fluttermane before it has the chance to do anything, then mm, beautiful. Uh, Heatran is just the, the pick, right? Heatran is is her in this case. Uh, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, Heat uh, Heat Wave, and Terra Blast, just mm, beautiful. Uh, Chen Pao, Icicle Crash, Protect, Sucker Punch, and Secret Sword. Uh, interestingly, Chen Pao and Landorus are the only two Pokemon that have Protect on this team. Personally, I would have liked to see. Uh, protect on some of the other Pokemon. That's just kind of how I like to play. But uh, two of those Pokemon have choice uh, items and one has Assault Vest. So I can understand why uh, that didn't end up happening. And then Luminian, of course, just benefits better from having a Citrus Berry. Um, so I'm, I understand with this team why it's like that. I just, in my heart of hearts, my team comp most have Protect. Uh, Fluttermane with Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moonblast, and Energy Ball. Energy Ball is an interesting one. This is the second Pokemon on this team that has a grass typing in Terra. So that's Fluttermane and Heatran, both of which have uh, both of which have Terra Grass and both of which have an 80 power. I think Energy Ball is 80, might be 90, uh, 80 power grass type move. So that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that will come into play, but it's nice to have that option. Uh, especially, again, for all of the water types kicking around, uh, all of the ground types, I suppose. Uh, there, there's some there's some reason to use uh, use grass. On Fluttermane, sometimes I, I would prefer to have Terra Fairy just so the Dazzling Gleam and Moonblast does more. But w again, we'll see if it's relevant here. Anyway, uh, let's go and take this team onto the dance floor. Uh, let's go and do a little jig with it and let's see if we can get some really cool wins under our belt with uh, with Luminian. All right, follow me now. Let's go. All right, going up against Momiji. All right. Uh, you know what? There's no Urshifu. There's no Urshifu Rapid Strikes here, which is great. That's wonderful. Uh, I wonder if I can still get away with bringing Luminian. I think I can. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It, it's just that um, Miascarada that's, that's really throwing me for a loop here. So I'm thinking that maybe I should bring my Urshifu single strike. Yeah, just get like a really fast, really fast wicked blow off uh, and knock them out right there. And then with that, I can bring Chen Pao. Chen Pao and Urshifu, just super fast, whoop pow, done. Done and over with. I don't know why they're bringing in Ndidi male, but good to know because I do have Sucker Punch on this Chen Pao. And then in the back, obviously we bring Luminian. Is it worth bringing the Landorus? I don't think it's worth bringing the Landorus compared to something like the Fluttermane. Yeah, I, I like the I like the speed on that. So I'm going to bring that actually. Yeah, this seems this seems right. So hello, I am back. I have been away from the channel for not all that long, actually, in your <laughs> in in your feeds. But um, essentially, the way that it worked is I went over to Chicago from last Sunday until this Wednesday, and then I was in Montreal from 
this Thursday until this Sunday. So I spent a whole seven days uh, out and around, not here. So obviously I wasn't able to record with the setup. So uh, I recorded a bunch in bulk. And now this is the first one of me coming back, uh, being back from, from that. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, close combat and poison jab. Ooh, poison jab would be really, really good here. I don't hate poison jab at all. Now let's just go with that, I think. Terra poison, poison jab. That works for me. And then sacred sword on that, or maybe even icicle crash on the low kicks. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for icicle crash on the low kicks. They're going to withdraw the Mioscarada. What are they going to bring out? Something that can take a fighting type move? I mean... I guess uh, Wicked Blow still would have been the better choice, but yeah, it's okay. Because the Ndidi existed, I never wanted to go for like a Sucker Punch or anything like that. So I'm kind of hoping that this does half so I can just do the second half next turn. Let's see how much damage this does. Terra Poison, whoop bam Yeah, it's a little more than half. It's like the, the tiniest bit more than half, you know? Double kick's gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. But you know what? That's okay. Because I have, for the low kicks, I guess I have Luminion. I kind of have Luminion for that, don't I? But I am gonna go with Fluttermane. I'm gonna bring Luminion in later. I still want things that are faster. What we got? Armorage. Yeah, this is okay. I mean, I can poison jab either one. I'm going to poison jab the low kicks this time. Be oh, I could just dazzle and gleam, but no, I'll shadow ball the... I'll shadow ball the Armorage. Try and take that down in one. Entirely possible that it has Focus Sash. I feel like people go with this look a lot. The red hair dreads. I, I feel like I've seen that that look so many times. Anyway, my trips were really nice. Chicago was for business and Montreal was for me. Chicago, I was there for Esports Next, which is a uh, esports conference. So there were tons of industry professionals there that I got to speak with, which was awesome. Really, really cool to get to know those kind of people. Uh, and then in Montreal, that was uh, my bachelor party. It was just a couple friends uh, went to uh, went to Montreal for a bit. Yeah, that doesn't affect me. Oh no, poor guy. And that just takes it. Yeah, you know what? This is this is going to be a an open and shut. Open and shut case. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to bring out Luminion. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just go and flip it out. Flip out the Urshifu. Ah, but not into the Masquerada. That's okay. I'm going to poison jab the thing that I wanted to poison jab the first time, and then I'll go for, uh, I guess, a Dazzling Gleam. I can't. I'll go for a Shadow Ball on this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the Luminion team, <laughs> it strikes. It strikes first. <laughs> There's no Luminion to be found, but I want to make Luminion work. Okay, so let's uh, go into game two and let's let's bring Luminion into the spotlight. Okay, let's go. All right, going up against Flo. And Flo. Ah, man, I don't know. I, I'm always hesitant to bring Landorus. I, I see so many good reasons to bring Landorus right now. There are four specifically. Three, actually. You've got... Uh, Chem Pal, Landorus, and, and Hisuian Arcanine. You could bring that in against the Annihilate, but then uh, Defiant is a whole thing. So what do I have here? Tus Tomping Tantrum, Terra Blast, U-Turned, U-Turned, getting U-Turned, and Protect. Uh, no. No. I, d I don't think bringing Landorus here is actually... A smart idea. I don't have any rock type moves. If I had a rock type move, then maybe I'd want to bring that. What's the terror type? Flying. Yeah. 
Uh, eh. No. Fluttermane could be good here, would be good here, should be good here. Heatran. No, not with the not with the Lando. I think it's truly the exact same as last. You know, Luminion, Fluttermane, Chen Pao, and Urshifu in reverse order. Um, the Choice Scarf will help against the against the Fluttermane. They don't know that this is a single strike Urshifu. They probably think it's a rapid strike Urshifu. I don't know how that actually benefits me, but it might. It might. I don't know. This is my first uh, first session back. I want to have a nice time. As you can probably tell, my my voice is a little gone right now. So, for better or for worse, I don't I don't know. Okay. Might this just be a simple wicked blow plus sucker punch? Wicked Blow Sucker Punch. Wicked Blow Sucker Punch. Yeah. I'll take it. Ooh. Now is this Terra Fairy or is it Terra anything? It's probably Terra Fairy. That's fine. This Chen Pao has Focus Sash too, so. Whoop bam. Pretty decent. Oh, it's faster than my Urshifu, even with... Okay, oh no. Whoa. Okay. See, here I thought that Choice Scarf Urshifu always outsped uh, Fluttermane, but it might be Photosynthesis Fluttermane. Oh, that's a fun final gambit to get one HP. <laughs> yeah, I'm... That's interesting that that went first. It was definitely booster energy flutter man. And now it's gonna go before me too. Uh-oh. Uh this flutter main has choice specs. White Luminion School. Bao Hmm. I think I have to. Hmm. What do I have to do? I don't think I have to do anything. Uh, da, 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 da. Tailwind into Dazzling Gleam, I guess. Yeah, like I'm not going to win the game this turn for sure. So uh, setting up a Tailwind is probably the right thing to do. It's not choice. So it can use Shadow Ball. So I should probably try and get the Ghost type out of here. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go deeply. Hmm. Yeah, Sucker Punch will probably end my life. Sucker Punch will make things real bad for me. They're not going to use it. Oh no, my Spadef. Whoa. Oh, nasty, gross, gross, nasty. Okay. It's all up to you, Luminian. Luminian, I need you to, I need you to put in some work here. Can you, can you do that for me, please? We'll, we'll just chilling water the water main. Let's, let's let that chilling water be, uh, be chill. You know? Sucker Punch isn't going to KO. That's a good sign. Fluttermane outspeeds <laughs> me in Tailwind. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's that's real good. Cool. Well, you know what? That's that is what that is. Uh, let's see. Would Heatran have helped? Yes, Heatran would have helped. Would Landorus have helped? No. Yeah, I think the the answer there would be to bring Heatran instead of Urshifu, actually. I think Urshifu did objectively the least um, in front of that super speedy Fluttermane. Hmm. 
good to know. All right, let's go into game three and let's try to really think about that. Okay, let's go. All right, going up against Ninny, who is bringing, they're, they're bringing the team, you know? This is the team. So I definitely need to bring the Luminion. Not going to lead with it. Uh, yeah, not going to lead with it. I want to bring some kind of fodder for Surging Strikes. Do I want to bring this? I don't think I actually want to bring this this time. No. No, that Urshifu isn't going to do too much. I'd have to, like, close combat the Chen Pao, and Chen Pao just doesn't need to be close combated. Uh, I could bring Heatran. Do I want to bring that first? No. 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 Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll bring that. No. Change our mind. I want to bring the Fluttermane. The Fluttermane will be a nice addition to this. I don't think I need uh, Chen Pao here. I don't need the extra, the extra damage from Sword of Ruin. Especially because they're probably going to be bringing their own Chen Pao because I have a Landorus. So I'll deal with that later. I will deal with that later. Cool. Fan Expo happened over the weekend in Toronto. Toronto, please. Um, and I'm, I'm the the pictures are starting to flood in from all the people who who went. And if you went to Fan Expo, nice. I didn't. I was in Montreal, unfortunately. But um, I heard it was a good time. They had an esports stage and everything. That's that's pretty sweet. Okay, so we've intimidated the Chen Pao. That's, that's a grand success so far. Um, I think U-turn is probably the right thing to do here. Eh, you know what? No, we're going to switch into Heatran. This is, this is what I should have done uh, last game with the Urshifu out. Terra Grass isn't really going to help me against the enemy Fluttermane. So I think I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam and hope that I don't die. Yeah. Yeah. Should be a little easier to live now that the Chen Pao is intimidated. Yeah, Sucker Punch still does quite a bit. That's good. That's good. A heat wave plus something else can probably take them out. Uh, problem is that I need... I need Luminion out is what I need, actually. I can't bring out Landorus because they're going to uh, Icicle Crash that first. They're going to KO that first. I don't want to lose that. So we'll do this. We'll hit a heat wave. And you know what? I am going to hit an Encore, actually. Not an Encore, a Tailwind. I looked at the word Encore and I wanted to say the word. I'm going to hit a Tailwind. So I want to spend the rest of the game a little bit further ahead. In speed. I'm going to bring the Chen Pao out. Chen Pout. And send out whom? Ironic Hands. Mmm, that tasty, tasty citrus berry. That is my jam. So here we go. Now this this tailwind should help quite a bit. Do I have protect on this? I don't. I do not. Okay. Now, uh... Heat wave? No, I think I do want to go for an earth power here, actually. Someone's going to get fake outed. Uh, chilling Water isn't going to do... Uh, I guess it's going to do more than Icy Wind after Stab. 75 power. It's not going to actually do all that much, but still, at least we <laughs> take out a Fluttermane with a Luminion. And that's the thumbnail. We found it. <laughs> wow. 
just the lack of lack of using pickup is interesting. I mean, yeah, I guess it can just kind of suck up whatever. I think I really need to chilling water that Iron Hands. I wasn't confident that the Heatran would be going before. I think, oh yeah, it's just definitely going to be Chen Pao. I need protect on this. There's no protect on it. Ah, we'll switch into Lando. Lando plus Icy Wind. With a spread. Yeah, yeah. I assume it was going to Sucker Punch just to try and take that out. Hmm, okay. Well, at least I've slowed down a, <laughs> an Iron Hands while I'm in Tailwind. Huzzah. Okay. So it's going to Volt Switch out into whom? Who are you going to be? Who are you going to be? Oh, it's a Moongus. Well, I have a Terra Blast for this. Boom, and... Boom. Oh, really? The, I mean, I don't really know if it matters that they're bringing that guy back out. I'm, I'm happy that they're not doing damage to my side right now. They do need to keep uh, the Chen Pao alive until Tailwind is done. So I, I can appreciate that. Oh. Dark Amoongus? Water Amoongus. It's fine. This, this should still do a hefty amount of damage. I just don't know if that's going to KO. This is the most damage that I can do to this Amoongus with my Landorus. So that's good, I guess. I just, I hope it can KO, because if it doesn't, then it'll probably spore my Landorus, and I don't like that. That's not good. That's definitely not good. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, safety goggles. Now, here's the thing. I can just Terra Blast this. No, 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 no. I don't need to do that. I'm going to Stomping Tantrum this, and I'm going to Encore, actually. The Amoongus. I would like you to do that again. Okay, fine. Well, I will Encore that, and you can do that again. Hooray. Oh, yeah, but also safety goggles. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that brings me down to four. But that is going to take out that. So I love that. That's great for me. So here is, herein lies the problem. Uh, this thing can Sucker Punch. Who's it going to Sucker Punch? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I Terra Blast this and Amoonga, Amoongus Rage Powders, obviously, but I go through that. I go for an Icy win. Yeah. There we go. That's, I believe this is the win. Is whoever the Champau doesn't KO here. Okay. It, uh, clearly, they targeted the threat. They rightfully targeted the threat. Whoever the Amoongus doesn't target, the Champau doesn't target, is going to get KO'd by it. So, it was a catch-22. I hope. I don't actually know what a catch-22 is. Somebody in the comments, please tell me what a catch-22 is. I'll probably have looked it up, to be honest, by then, but... Yeah, it eludes me right now. Uh, did she have flash cannon? 
Flash Cannon do more right now? Uh, Flash Cannon, that's 120. Earth Power is... No, sorry, that's 60. Because it's Stab cut in half. So this actually does more. <clears throat> that's going to be a lot of damage to this Amoongus. Safety goggles on Lander is just so strong. Oh my goodness. Isn't it? Look at that. Just having the full autonomy to do whatever you want with Landorus in front of an Amoongus is well, that's so beautiful. Rage Powder, Spore, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can target the not Amoongus with any of the single target things that you want. You don't need uh, Earthquake in this situation because why, why even have it? Why even have it? You can just target the other slot and have it be full power. I like it a lot. Anyway, I like this team. Thank you, Evan, for supplying this team. Um, really, really appreciated it. Uh, the fact the fact that Luminian beat me um, on video before was was very funny, and I really appreciate you uh, taking the opportunity to go and actually share share that team with me. Um, didn't get to use Storm Drain in this uh, session, but as one can expect. If uh, you have somebody about to use an Urshifu, um, you might want to bring a Luminion in there just so it can soak up, uh, soak up those those water hits. Um, you can do that with other Pokemon as well. Just Urshifu is kind of the prevailing water type that seems to be running around the most these days. So um, definitely go and give this a try. Team Team ID is on the screen right now. Uh, Poke Paste is in the description below. I've been Mike. I've been Mike and I play with two Pokemon on the field. I will get better at this now that I'm back uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.